What's up guys my name is Parinder from PNP Tutorials and in this tutorial I am going to show you that how you can dual boot the Kali Linux 2.0 version with the Windows 8.1 so for doing the dual boot all you need to do is to have a Kali Linux ISO file and then we are going to download that particular file from here and and just go to the downloads and click on the downloads Kali, download Kali Linux and there we have we are going to install the 64 bit here so I will simply click on the ISO if you wanted to download the torrent file then you can click on the torrent here but for me I'm just going to download the ISO file so I'll click on that and remember this is the latest version 2.0 which was released on the 11th August 2015 so there we are uh, they can see now the downloading has been start but this file I have already downloaded so I'm not gonna do it again then after you need to download the one more software here that is power ISO and this software is used to make the pen drive bootable and what we are trying to do we are just trying to make the USB drive or the pen drive bootable and then we will try to install the Kali Linux by using that pen drive so I will simply click on that and I will download this particular version that is 64 bit here and the link of the power ISO and the Kali Linux 2.0 to download them I have provided in the description area and I need to simply click on that for downloading and they can see the downloading has been start and after that what I need to do I need to simply install this particular file that is power iso 6 so installation part is very easy you can easily install it once you have installed this particular power iso and you have downloaded the Kali Linux 2.0 then the next step came so let me search here I am using the Windows 8.1 and power iso I have already been installed but you have to install it again now what you need to do I need to simply go to the tools and what we are trying to do here is we are going to create the bootable USB drive I'll simply choose this option now plug in your USB drive here and I have plugged in my USB drive which I wanted to make bootable and after that I need to simply click on the continue unregistered and then I need to choose the source file here source image file which I have downloaded so it is Kali 2.0 let me search for it and this is the file which I have downloaded from the particular site that is Kali.org and I need to simply open up it and then what I will do I will simply choose the USB drive which I wanted to make bootable and this is the drive send this cruiser blade and I wanted to make this drive bootable I will simply click on that and click on start yeah it is saying all data in the USB drive will be overwritten do you want to continue click on ok and now it will take some time in fact it would take 10 to 15 minutes to make the USB drive bootable so there we are we are at the 97 percent done now it would take some time to just write the whole stuff and they can see the right USB drive successful I will simply click on OK now we need to do one more thing here we need to actually give the make the partition for the Kali Linux operating system so I am going to simply I have write the disk partition in the start menu of Windows 8.1 and then I have got this window here suppose if you want to uh, make the 50 GB partition then simply select the 50 GB there suppose I am going to shrink this one volume let me show you this one and they can see it is a 70 GB new volume and I wanted to shrink this volume here and they can see enter the amount of space to be shrink in MB and I will simply write the same thing as it is and I will click on the shrink and when I will do that they can see the new simple volume has been created 
and I will simply click on this next next and click on the next and label it as Kali Linux so that we can differentiate on the boot time Kali Linux and click on next and finish and you can see it is now formatting now the space has been created plug in our pen drive which we have booted up now we need to restart our computer now we need to restart our computer here and make sure you have plugged in your USB drive and I'm going to simply click on restart and I will simply press the escape escape here so that I can open up the boot menu and there I'm pressing the escape escape here and there we go I need to press the F10 here and there, there we have got the Kali Linux bootable pen drive here now we need to click on the graphical install now it has a start the things and then we need to choose the English and click on continue English and then US and then I need to simply click on the American English and now it is doing the things my video is a little bit lagging or it is moving because I am just making the video from my own hand to my mobile phone so sorry for that experience and I need to and then I will choose up the setup users and passwords and the root password I need to type in here the root password so I am simply writing easy password here and I will re-enter that same password and then I will hit enter and again it is asking the wireless ESSID for the WN0 and again I will choose the back here by using the tab key you can see back here and hit enter and I will click on the detect disk now we need to simply click on the manual here and hit enter and there we go we have created the several partition here and these are the partitions we have created this around 70 GB partition and this is that particular partition that is hash 7 logical 76 GB they can see I need to choose this one and hit enter and there we go I will hit enter on that and click on the ext4 and again hit enter and then I will use the arrows keys to move up and down and mount point choose the root file system here and then mount label as default so go to the back you can see go to back and hit enter and again we are going to choose the label here and label for the file system in this partition I am going to simply choose the Kali and hit enter and after that bootable flag hit on that enter and click on yes and once we have done with this then click on the done setting with the partition and hit enter on that and finish partition and write changes back to disk now it is asking something do you want to return the partition menu I will simply choose the no here and now it is saying the polling partition are going to be formatted click on yes I will simply click on yes and most probably I am here using the K 
key tab keys and uh, hit enter button because my mouse pad is not working right now I don't know why but if your mouse pad is working then you can make the use of your mouse here now it is taking the final step they can see install extra packages retrieving and installing and uh, they can see you can uh, use a network mirror so we are going to choose the yes here and then hit enter and by default I will set the none here so I will click on continue and bad mirror so I will choose the go back option here this is the go back option and do you continue without a mirror I will choose the yes here and then configuring apt they can see configure the packet manager now it is installing the grub boot loader which is very important when you are doing the dual boot and this allows you to select the operating system when you start in your laptop so they can see looking for other operating system and we are here doing the dual boot with the 8.1 and they can they is, it is asking install the grub boot loader master boot record i will choose on continue and hit enter and then i will choose this one option and this looks to be quite good so i will choose this one <laughs> i don't know why i'm choosing this one but i hope this would work for me and for you as well now it is finishing the installation they can see configuring clock settings and doing lots of stuff here there we have the installation complete message and now I will choose I will uh, choose the continue here and finishing the installation running removing live packages here now it has reboot the system and I'm going to just plug out my pen drive and I have plugged out my pen drive and now they can see the boot menu and I have choose the car linux here and now it is booting up the car linux operating system here they can see now it would take they can see car linux has been booted 